Okay, hey guys, Nara here, starting off the Genshin Mondays uh, a bit differently, just because, yeah, okay, I already logged into the game, it's already here. Um, I'm just going to spread the word around just to some good friends, or just to use my usual group that I need to remind I'm streaming. So, what did now I find for today? Navigating the world is a whole lot easier with a few different identities to choose from. Need me to come up with some for you? Okay, yes, yellow, and thank you for that insight. Okay, one second, guys, sorry. Okay, we're back. Okay, let's just make sure. Okay, okay, I'm all set there. And there we are. Okay. So the plan for today is we are going to be attempting a bit to the last two floors before it resets. And just, you know, usually just try and do whatever quests are still around that we can do for Primogens. Because right now, do I have enough? I'm not even close enough to Nahida, I don't think. It's like set of 20 right now. Could be third. I think it's gonna be third. Let's go. Hopefully, if we don't get our next the first few rolls, we'll get we'll um, get enough Prima gems in time just to get to before the banner resets. Because the next few banners I'm not too excited about. However, what I am excited about apparently was the reveal of yes, we're gonna be able to have um, you know Scaramouche or, or as they call him now the Wanderer. I think it was as an actual character. Because I saw the, on the official Genshin Impact, it was on, well, they shared it on YouTube, I think. But I think if you check Twitter, you also see it. That he's going to be an animal user, which I find strange. So I don't know what, in terms of the plot, is what's going to happen. Either he's just going to become... Um, I, just, I thought about a theory is that he's going to become, oh, you're the, I'm the traveler, you're the wanderer. So you're trying to copy what I'm doing. Again, it'd be kind of weird if they introduce a character that can switch elements. Be new and fresh, but I think it, yeah, would be kind of weird. You know, having extra elements to put him on that edge over other characters, but whatever. Doesn't put Traveler much, because he's the only good character for Traveler, only element for Traveler right now is Dendro, apparently. <clears throat> also, if you haven't noticed, I don't have my fan on today, so yes, you can actually hear me a bit more clearly without much interruption. I hope that is this will be a pleasant experience for you guys. Because it's been very freezing, well not freezing, just cold lately, due to it raining constantly here. So, so I find no use of the fan. I've also been noticed I tend to itch a lot when it gets too cold. So per my... Um, Take it easy. Panel. I will have in terms of, like we have so many options to get like two of them and stuff because I have like a whole list of world quests that are still like piling up. On top of that, that I can do the abyss to a reasonable level now. We can get some primo gems that way as well. So you know, hopefully Hoya Verse is more generous with me this time coming. Oh yeah, and also that, yeah, the partner program is recent again. So if any other streamers who join my thing want to participate in that. Sign up now, and yeah, if you stream for 30 hours, you get an, you get more this time around. And for what I did not know about the previous times, is if I had streamed three consecutive hours each week, I would have gotten more Prima Gems. But oh well. Live and learn, live and learn. I was doing fine without it, and I can do... But I'll be great going forward now that I know this. I try to... Okay, also today for the resin, I think we just want to use Ayaka. No, yeah, I'm trying to get Ayaka to level 90, so we just need to fight the Perpetual Mechanical Array like two more times, I think. Or three, possibly, if my luck is Go. bad. This is order. Gather. Witness the power of Gugwa. Know my sword. Quietly now. Is this a challenge? Literally, the game has gotten so much easier. Uh, I miss. I kind of slightly miss the days when the game was a struggle. Yeah, Abyss is the struggle, but otherwise, having Hu Tao at this level just makes everything seem like so simple in a breeze. Which is why when I tried Abyss, by the twelfth, the last, twelve four last chamber, 
last time around because they added the new guy who cannot be hurt unless you have an electro and catalyst user apparently. Add Astro. I claim I think yes, I did. So I just he actually ruined that run for me because I did not I forgot that yeah you can't hurt him unless you have an electro and catalyst reaction. So for that floor if we reach that point, we will test that out. Okay, but for the time being. And all on top of that, I have a whole list of story quests and stuff I haven't finished yet. Also, have I done? Yeah, okay, we'll have the test run. Okay, let's just do the math real quick right now. See, we have the month's gonna reset soon, so then that would be 12. 12 plus this would be... That would be 32 wishes. Excluding glitter. I'm not gonna use that quite yet. So best case scenario, if we don't get anything, because I get still being lucky in the first few rolls. I've been lucky with Tainari and Sino those few times, but <clears throat> oh, yeah, okay. so yeah, as I was saying, we need we're trying to level up Ayaka, so we need this. I don't care about talents and stuff right now because the only solid teams I have right now for Abyss are Tart Child and Tartigilla Super, Tartigilla team and Hu Tao team, which we have right now. So, is there a place we can go up here? Why is this here? I do need help to get across. I can get across just fine. But either way, I want to go fight this guy now. I will have order! Solidify. Okay, with this team, I literally do not have to worry about taking damage whatsoever. Like the child team, I when I was doing the, using the child team on the abyss, yes, I was very cautious about dodging. As a close friend of mine pointed out, yeah, the hydro pyro reaction is kind of broken. Let me weave you a first. Huh? I really looked out on getting the yell on the time. So we'd have to do this at least three more two two more times. So Okay, what can we do in the meantime? As I said, we have a list of quests we still need to finish. Let, let me actually, even though I said I wasn't going to do that stream, because you probably guys have done this one already and seen it, so that would be boring. But let's wrap up this Kazaha story quest that I never finished. As well, so what other quests do I have to do anyway? Yeah, see, it's just this Kazaha thing. And yeah, plenty of story quests I've never done. Or haven't finished, gotten all the endings I mean. I've done some of them. I did Shinobu's. <laughs> With the wind. What's, how can this quest make me love Kazuma Gaza any more than I already do? What more insight can you give into me? Give me into this person life? And how appropriate that trash <gasps> Scaramouche is going to become an animal user. I find that kind of I don't know, slightly ironic for some reason. I'm very sorry, but we cannot afford to pay what we owe right now. Mm. What My husband owe? has gone missing, and I'm still trying to find him. No, no, you misunderstand us. We are here to help with the investigation. We'd like to ask you some questions about Mr. Nagato's disappearance, if we may. Ah, oh, I see. I thought the debt collectors had come to visit again. Mm. I'm sorry you have to see me in this dreadful state. Has some new information come out? Do you know where he's gone? I'm afraid we don't have any new information at the moment. We're still trying to find out as much as we can to inform our search. With this in mind, can we perhaps ask some questions about your family's current situation? Uh, for example, Paimon's struggling to understand why a collector would be strapped for Mora. <sighs> That's a long story. Mm. Ever since I've known him, he's been an avid collector of all sorts of things. He'd always get so animated when he was showing them to me. I knew nothing about the items myself, but seeing how enthusiastic and excited they made him, I was happy to believe that they were just 
extremely important to him. Everything was fine when we first got married, but as time went by, things, things changed, changed for the worse. Uh... Uh-oh! What happened? He lost his sense of restraint. He started buying more and more things, and even resorted to borrowing money just so he could pay for them. Sounds like, like a kleptomaniac type thing. out of control when he started getting interested in weapons. It was awful. There were days when he'd spend hours down at the warehouse, admiring his weapons even as debt collectors were descending upon our house. Hmm. He wouldn't sell them, wouldn't even touch them. Just, Just sat them. there staring at them like he was in a trance. Hmm. I'm happy he has a hobby and I'm willing to support party. him. But making ends meet has to come first. I've tried talking to him about it so many times, but he never listens. On the last day that I saw him, I gave him an ultimatum. ultimatum. Mm. I said, if he refused to sell his collectibles and pay off his debts, I would divorce him and, and take the, the children, children with me. Whoa! Well, again, he and that led, led to, to an, an argument. argument. Actually, it didn't. Generally, he's a quiet man who likes to go with the flow. On most things, he leaves the decision making to me. Mm. You must understand, I never would have dreamed of threatening him with divorce if the debts hadn't pushed our family to the brink. After I said those words, he froze and was silent for a long time. When he finally spoke, he awkwardly mumbled that he would pick out a few items to sell. His voice was so meek and pitiful that I felt an urge to take everything back. But then, then what? If, you don't draw the if line, I didn't draw the line, what would happen to our family? It's important to set boundaries, 100%. Had I not indulged his bad habits, we wouldn't have found ourselves in such a predicament. And I also don't know if he had actually come to his senses, or if he was simply angry with me. The next thing I heard was that our warehouse had caught fire, and both he and the buyer had gone missing. I see. I understand. Amin Omayuya came to purchase a weapon from Mr. Nagato. During the sale, a fire broke out at the warehouse, and both men disappeared. At first, I assumed they must have gotten into an argument over the price. But my husband has never been one to negotiate. He never even haggles when he's out buying groceries, so it's hard to imagine him getting into a fierce argument. Hmm. Maybe he was feeling the pressure from the debts? I don't know. He just disappeared after the warehouse burned down. Perhaps he's too afraid to come home now that all his collectibles have been lost in the fire and he's got no way to pay yeah. off our debts. <sighs> Even though I'm still a little mad at him, we're a family and I want us to face our family's crisis together. How admirable. As long as Very he's much. willing to turn over a new leaf, I know we can work things out. Please don't get upset. There could be more to this situation than meets the eye. Exactly. If collecting things is a habit that Mr. Nagato had his whole life, it is quite unusual for this habit to change so drastically over a short period. But the information we gathered from the other side suggests Aminoma Yuya is also a mild-mannered man who would not be likely to start an argument. So there's probably a third party involved. This situation is getting a little confusing. Neither of them would cause this kind of problem. A little confusing? More like completely mystifying. Hmm. Let's try a change of scenery and see if we can piece together what we've learned. Rest assured, we'll notify you if we find anything. <sighs> Thank you so much. I just want him to come home. Based on the information we've gathered so far, I can only surmise that the sales meeting between the two men was somehow the catalyst for their disappearance. And the fire at the warehouse likely played a part in how the situation unfolded, though its exact role is a mystery. Do you have any thoughts? Far-fetched there, Paimon. Nope, never mind. I'm not <laughs> need to rest, rest, rest for a while. Over to you.
Right. I very much agree with you. It seems highly likely that we're missing a piece of the puzzle. Working off what we know so far, there are too many things that don't add up. The chances are that there are still some clues left for us to discover. One fact that I keep coming back to is that Amenoma Yuya is polite and well-mannered, while Mr. Nagato is introverted and passive. Neither seems like the type of person who is inclined towards initiating conflict. Mr. Nagato, being heavily in debt, is also the only one of them with the potential motive to disappear after the fire. So that's the more I ponder it, the more puzzling it becomes. Just what could have happened there? I honestly think a third party was involved, honestly. It's like someone was eyeing for the things themselves and just decided, hey, let's jump these two. Right. Although the time frame seems to broadly match, no other details that we've learned seem to link the two events together. Amenoma Yuya lacks a key distinguishing feature of the attacker, namely that he is principally a practitioner of the blade testing techniques of Amenoma art, not those of the combat oriented Ishin art. Darn! We thought we could get two birds with one stone here, but at this rate, it's starting to look like a wild goose chase. Hmm. Let's keep going, since we've come this far. If we can solve the case, both Mr. Amenoma and Mrs. Nagato will be able to get some closure. Okay, but where should we go now? Let's head out of the city and check out the warehouse. There's still a chance we may be able to find some shreds of evidence. This is a lie. Wait. I hear something ominous in the wind. Oh! This must be another one of those sounds that only you can hear. As sketchy as that whole thing seems, you did put it to good use when we were chasing down that vision thief at Beto's tournament. So... Hmm... Now I'm picking up a strong scent in addition to the sound. It's right around here somewhere. But... There's nothing here! Nothing that we can see. It's gone now. But I can still sense the direction it left in. It felt very much like that ancient presence in Inazuma. The remnants of the Tatarigami. Indeed. But this unexpected spring of inauspicious energy may prove to be of benefit to our investigation. <clears throat> we should remain vigilant and approach slowly. Huh. So it's an underground warehouse. The force is definitely coming from down below. The source of the Tatarigami energy has long since left this place. But the residue it left behind still hasn't dissipated completely. Judging from the concentration, I would have to conclude that the Tatarigami source resided here for a very long time. Mrs. Nagato said her husband used to hang around the warehouse by himself a lot. It could well be that he was already under the influence of Tatarigami energy at that time. Okay, sorry about that. It's just on my phone. From what I've been told, Tatarigami does not turn all upon whom it preys into violent monsters, but most will develop a stubborn streak upon being exposed to the Tatarigami's unfulfilled will. Their interests become fanatical obsessions. Mr. Nagato had an interest in collecting to begin with. The influence of Tatarigami could explain why he became an obsessive hoarder, mm. amassing more and more possessions, even as he put himself in grave debt. Um, so what should we do now? Go down and take a look? 
Step back. I'll open the door and take a look inside. Careful now, Kazaha. If we don't open this door, we can move no closer to the truth. You needn't worry. Both of us have faced far greater dangers than this. Relatively speaking, the risk here is trivial. Mm. Everything's buried in debris. I can't see anything. It looks like the fire caused a cave-in, reducing the entire warehouse to rubble. That was too scary! Paimon was so sure that the warehouse boogeyman was about to really? jump out really, at really us! Paimon? The warehouse All we can do like now it. is keep searching in the direction that the Tatarigami energy source left this place. Two ordinary humans, entangled with the Tatarigami. I fear much misfortune has already befallen them. Yes, let's go. If nothing else, it's vital that we find out where this Tatarigami energy is coming from. Quiet your mind and focus on what you sense around you. Perhaps you too will perceive its ominous presence in the wind. Switch the teams just real quick. If we do get to use Kazuha just during this thing, I just want to let him try. <laughs> well, what could have been instead of Super, I'd have Kazuha on this team if I had him. <laughs> we follow a sense. Oh. Oh, we can actually see it. What are you doing over here? Oh, yeah, you. What are you doing here? So, it's not right the position. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I wish the best of luck. <laughs> what did she give me in return for talking? Ooh, Guide to Freedom. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> oh, what? From this point, the trail appears to split into two. The main source of the Tatarigami energy continued on into the distance, but a small portion remained here and seems to be dissipating slowly. Quite possibly. Let's search the area. Whoa! Look at all those silly churls! They're acting really strangely! Something seems to be drawing their attention. Let's take a closer look. Absorption test! Animal test 6308! <laughs> Everybody stand back! Nice and spicy! You can run, but you can't hide! Who's next? It, it's... Ooh, look at this red stuff! What is it? By the looks of it, a letter written on a piece of torn clothing. The ink is bone dry. It must have been written quite some time ago. Well... Let's take a look. Mission card is the same. Why did he say that? According to this letter, a conflict arose because Amenoma Yuya wanted to seize a blade belonging to Mr. Nagato. Yuya started the fire that destroyed the warehouse and wounded Mr. Nagato in the fight. Mr. Nagato kept chase as long as he could, 
eventually stopping here to write this letter when his strength gave out. So, where is he? He was not only mortally wounded, but also under the heavy influence of Tatarigami. Add to that the fact that its aura seems to have attracted a horde of monsters, and I'm afraid he may no longer be with us. Whatever traces there may have been of his fate beyond after this point, they've since been disturbed by the hilly churls. There's nothing more for us to find here. Yes. Right now, we need to uncover some more important truths. If Amenoma Yuya is attacking other people indiscriminately, then the longer we take to find him, the more people risk meeting the same tragic end. Oh right, so let's get moving. I need to do, look up a retrospective on what is the darkest, like, story. <clears throat> I wouldn't be surprised if he, too, Genshin, fell prey for, to like, the any particular, of the like, character with the for a practitioner of the martial arts, the easiest desire to inflame would be their pursuit of further power and skill. All the clues that at first seemed disparate and disconnected. It seems that now we know the thread that runs between them. I have a hypothesis that, if it's correct, not only explains the series of events leading to the two men's disappearance, but also zeroes in on the attacker's identity. You figured it out? So these two cases are connected after all? I believe so. But it's something of an outlandish idea. I will only be able to confirm my suspicions once we've met him in person. On with the search. We must stay vigilant. At any point now, we may find ourselves in danger. Yeah. Oh wow, how convenient. Again, as I was saying, like as I, we're going through the story, I just think things are getting a little dark. The last two, the dark, the last two that were kind of, I wouldn't say dark, but left a, you know, bittersweet or sad taste in my mouth was Tainari's and Sino's story quests, because those actually dealt with some heavy feelings there. So as for this one now, hmm. I can't say. She seems to have stayed here for a long time. Why here? Is there anything special about this place? I'm not sure, but on closer examination, I sense that the aura may have lingered here at several different points in time. <laughs> Someone's here. Show yourself. Show yourself. It's no use hiding anymore. Hmm. Hmm. Haide Harakazua. It's you. Oh, last. right. I'm trying to remember how this story started out. So it is the same guy from before. Yep. What's your problem, huh? Yeah, I remember what could this you is how it started. Have Indeed, there should be no enmity between us. If it is Amenoma Yuya that stands before us. But no, he's us. possessed right now. But what if instead of facing Amenoma Yuya, we are in fact facing the blade in his hand? Do you recognize this blade? Is it Now that you mention it, it is giving off a strange light. Whoa, whoa! Surely you don't mean he's possessed. Are you Weirder serious? things happen. We're, we've Tatari seen Gami actual energy ghosts. Energy often lodges itself within physical objects, then works to subtly affect any living organisms in its vicinity. The blade has resided in Mr. Nagato's warehouse for many years, affecting his state of mind, and more recently using the sail as a means to affect, or rather, <clears throat> as a means to occupy. Amenoma Yuya's body. Hmm. hmm. You're sharper than I thought. You've already deduced the truth of the matter. Many, many years ago, I was forged by a famed bladesmith of the Ishin tradition. I was his pride and joy. In me, he placed all his hopes and dreams. As a descendant of the Kaidahara clan, you should be able to guess our greatest regret. I presume it has something to do with the Raiden Gokaden. Indeed. At that point in time, he failed to live up to the Raiden Shogun's expectations. In the end, all he could do was to flee the nation by sea on a ship bound for Snezhnaya. He was a bladesmith of great renown, a master of his craft. There was nothing that he could not accomplish. 
All he needed was more time and a little faith. And sure enough, in the end, he achieved what he had set out to do. All of his life's work, his wisdom, his skill, it culminated in his creation of me. He not only bestowed upon me the greatest of strength, but also endowed me with a consciousness of my own. In her conceit, the Raiden Shogun lost not only the single most perfect blade in the entire world, but also an irreplaceable achievement in the art of blade forging. So... swords can become conscious and control people? The people of the time in which I was born never believed I had that kind of power. They saw me as a mere blade, a sharp and well-crafted one, but in all other respects, an ordinary weapon. But that gave me the opportunity to take action. After the death of my creator, I decided to leave Snezhnaya and began my long quest to return <coughs> to the distant land of Inazuma. Moving from one person to the next, I controlled the minds of countless hosts along the way, each bringing me one step closer to my ancestral home. Mm, quite a motivation for a piece I of metal. I seek but one thing, to face the full force of the Raiden Shogun's blade and prove my power, the might of Isin art. Mm. Ah, so Amenoma Yuya was not your first victim. Tell me, what happens to those you've possessed when you've finished using yeah, them? Then, yeah. My hosts. Who cares Who what cares happens to them? To they them. are but tools that they serve are my tools mission. That serve my mission. Huh. Strange when going from the actual tool. Or injured or unusable, I hopped to the next one in line. All I needed them for was to take me back to Inazuma. You're awful. Very inconsiderate After of you. After I returned to Inazuma, I decided to bide my time in Nagato's warehouse until Amenoma Yuya handed himself over to me on a silver platter. At long last, I'm approaching my journey's destination. By Amenoma Yuya's body, I have found you. And by your hand, I shall defeat the Raiden Shogun. Mm. Kaede Harakazuha, you stood against the Raiden Shogun's Muso no Hitotachi. Well, there can be no other to serve as my host for what is to come. Yes. Okay. Now, give your body over to me! <laughs> At least take me out to dinner first. <laughs> Animal hypostasis emulate, you're toast! Join me and suffer the divine light! <laughs> Me. Oh, at least let me use the cute version. Let me use the first one. Time to go. Cut. Join into the wind. And suffer the divine light. Oh, whatever. I didn't give you the bomb, but whatever. Do not stand in my way, or I will strike you down too. Your bluff's fooling no one. You've lost. What more can you lost. do? Lost. I can never lose. It is this body that has reached its limit, nothing more. Fair enough, but otherwise, dude. Even if you defeat me here, the one who falls will not be me, but this man. He is but a puppet that can be replaced. Oops. I can take a new vessel at will. Well, then we'll just smash you into pieces. The end result is the same. I will end this wretch's life before you can lift a finger. Oh, what a hostage. And even if I were to lose my physical form, it is but a small setback. My consciousness shall endure. Okay. By any means necessary and any medium available, I shall return and fulfill my destiny! That seems Your fighting way. style. It is indeed the forms of Ishin art. But from your movements, I sense only hatred and arrogance, as well as a thinly veiled mania and despair. Really? You can tell all that just from his moves? Mm. As I've mentioned before, the forms of Ishin art convey the user's thoughts and feelings. Since the blade is currently <laughs> possessing Aminoma Yuya's body, its movements express the innermost thoughts of the blade. 
If you ask me, the mania is probably due to your desperate, single-minded ambition. You believe I am your only hope. Are you trying to claim that I am helpless without you? Kinda. On his deathbed, he passed to me all of Ishin Art's secrets. The little that you know barely scratches the surface. In that regard, why would I ever need your help? Because all of that is in the past. I've been wondering why you've not caused more trouble in all the years that you've been in Inazuma. If you are indeed a cursed blade that can possess its owner. Now that I've seen inside your mind, everything finally makes sense. You weren't biding your time. You were trapped. <clears throat> After all the time that's passed, you have grown weak. To the point that you are now unable to acquire a new host without making physical contact. Oh, that's right. Paimon remembers now. Mr. Nagato had a habit of never touching his collectibles. Only when Mr. Nagato witnessed his wife's distress and decided to sell his collectibles, did you finally have an opportunity to reach out to Aminoma Yuya and make your escape. And what of it? Well... That brings me to my second point. Mm -hmm. There's a despair in you that is so strong it threatens to overwhelm you. You were determined to fulfill your maker's ambition whatever the cost. But this ambition is too grand and too heavy for you to bear. Each step you have taken has come at a great cost. I think you realized your limitations long ago. The more you clenched your teeth and pressed forward, the greater your fear of losing everything you had achieved grew, and the more you wished to run from the truth. But the way I see it, what began as an ambition has long since become a delusional fantasy. What would you know about any of this? I'm just one step away from achieving my goal! You returned to Inazuma to prove the unparalleled brilliance of Ishin art. But to make this arduous journey, you committed countless atrocities and showed a blatant disregard for human life. Even if you were to sever that divine light, is this truly the outcome that your maker would have desired? You... Sure, you inherited the secrets of Ishin art. But even as you made your journey to honor this legacy, you treated the ones who wielded you as mere tools to do your bidding. How could you possibly unleash the full potential of Ishin art when you act in perfect discordance with the principle of harmony between a blade and its bearer? Silence, you blabbering fool! I must achieve my goal. This was his life's dream, and the very purpose for which I was brought into being! I will concede that you are most perceptive. You see my predicament clearly. But you also underestimate my resolve. And you should face reality. Easy for you to say. Facing reality offers me nothing. I have no need of anything that would stand in my way. Not hesitation, not self-reflection, and certainly not your so-called reality. It is pointless to argue further, descendant of the Kaidahara clan. If you wish to save this man, then offer me your body in exchange. How stubbornly you stick to your wayward path. I do not believe for a second that you can challenge the almighty Shogun in your current state. So let us make a bet, and I will put your strength to the test. What? Surely you're not planning to agree to his demands! Very well. Then find yourself some enemies with whom you wish to cross blades. A taste of my power will more than convince you. Once we have dealt with them, we shall proceed to Tenshukaku. And as for your end of the bargain, if you lose, you must release Amenoma Yuya from your control. I accept. Don't do this, Kazuma! It's a risky strategy, you do. <laughs> this is the only way to save Amenoma Yuya. 
If we don't do this, he'll forever be the Blade's puppet. The Cursed Blade's strength is currently very weak, and I sense he's hesitating. This suggests his heart is still not completely devoid of honor. The power of the Tatarigami lies in intensifying existing obsessions. This is the reason Mr. Nagato and Aminome Yuya fell prey to it. Since I don't have any similar kinds of obsessions, I should be able to put up some resistance for a while. But should. even so... Even if things take a turn for the worse, I still have you both here with me. Oh. We have a chance here to save an innocent victim. I am willing to accept the risks entailed. Your disdain for me betrays your woeful ignorance. I agreed to this bet because there are things I wish to learn too. Now, take me in your hand. I like the design on the sword at least. I felt a little dizzy at first, but only for a moment. It's all right. So far, this was as I expected. I will. Thank you. What should we do next? Have you got a plan, Kazuha? We find some enemies. Although this blade has endured much turmoil, it probably hasn't experienced many real fights. Mm. If a blade built for Ishin art cannot enter a state of harmony between blade and bearer, it cannot unleash its true power. If he wants to avoid reality, then we need to fight until he has no choice but to face it. He shouldn't last long in an intense combat situation. Wait a minute! Paimon remembers hearing about something from the Adventurers Guild. Since the Takatsukasa clan abandoned that secret base, it's been held by Ronin ever since. Yep. Ah, all right. Please lead the way. What about Aminoma Yuya? What should we do with him? The blade says he'll let Aminoma Yuya trail us silently. Although he hasn't regained his own consciousness yet, he is not in any immediate danger. Are we sure this is a good idea? It's a pretty treacherous journey. Okay, fine. Just be careful. We'll have Kaisa on this team, we're fine. Leave oh, everything on this him. journey to me. Being a quick weapon for the time being. Yes, it actually is. Wow. Is this an actual weapon in the game? I've like, like, in the game already, so yes. This is actually a game weapon for the Naru. How are you feeling? You okay? I'm alright. The blade is performing largely as I expected. Having gone so long without proper use and maintenance, it's become very difficult to use. Though he's making every effort to persevere, 
I do not think he can last much longer. Hmm. Something else on your mind? How strange. Rather than trying to control me, he is instead trying to match my fighting rhythm. Let's keep going. sense that his strength is slowly fading away. The blade is becoming more and more difficult for me to wield. He cannot hold out much longer. If he keeps persisting, he will likely break apart at any moment. But he is going to keep Wait, persisting. What would that do to Amanome Yuya? I will be careful with it. He also says he does not have any plans to give up easily. Exactly. He's still trying to achieve his goal. Okay. Well, yeah, determination can be admired, it just should never come at the cost of harming others is the only gripe or I think the message we're trying to get here. Time to go! like he's reached his limit. The sheen's grown a bit dimmer again. It doesn't look anywhere near as impressive as it did at the start. Perhaps this time, we'll finally have a chance to see his true form. True form? What are you talking about? Uh, huh? What the? Is this the same blade as before? It looks like a piece of junk! Why? <laughs> if you choose to continue in the state you're in, you wouldn't even be able to beat Samurai and Kairagi, much less the Almighty Shogun. Maybe you did truly wield power to rival the Shogun's light when first forged, but the long journey from Snezhnaya back to Inazuma has left you battered and broken. It barely needs stating anymore. Your ambition is a flight of fancy. I finally figured out why it was that you agreed to my bet. You wanted to reach a state of harmony with me. For perhaps then you would still be able to wield commendable power. But regrettably, we are nothing alike. I will never understand your obstinacy and cruelty, nor can I empathize with the one who made you. The only one who truly understood you had already passed away by the time you were born. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Here they are! Take them down! Oh yeah, boy, here we go. Okay, one more try. Hey, where do they keep coming from? Yup, yup! We can help this time! Don't worry. I'll use my own blade. 
It's just more of the same. Mm. Let's get down to business. One more. Of nature. Into the wind. Clouds high. The birds call. One with nature. You fought way better with your own sword. You are a true Kaidehara in flesh and in spirit. Though we fought briefly together, you have seen me for who I really am. No one knew anything of my story throughout my travels, nor did I tell it to anyone. You are the first person to know the truth. Mm. I thought that if I could achieve Ishin harmony with you, perhaps there would still be a ray of hope for me. But in this too you have failed. Indeed. No matter how hard I tried, I could not attain that perfect harmony that your personal blade does with you. Too much time has passed. My physical state is poor, and without proper maintenance, I can only disguise my true appearance behind an outer sheen. Yours is the blade that took on the Muso no Hitotachi. And what a magnificent blade it is. Perhaps... I shall never reach that level of glory. Mm. Actually, this is just a generic blade that I picked up during my travels in Liyue. Uh. What? Forging and maintenance are both important for a blade, but they are not everything. everything. This blade has traveled the land with me for many years, and we have formed a close bond during that time. Plus, in the moment that I most needed it, I received aid from another power. Mm. Skill, blade, determination, and desire. All these must be aligned in the practice of Ishin art. <sighs> there is something else I must tell you. Though your maker may not have been aware, your ability to possess your own consciousness derived from the power of the Tatarigami. Tatarigami is a malevolence from the ancient past, it is the source of your mania and savagery. Though you tried to cooperate with me while I was wielding you, the part of you driven by Tatarigami was constantly trying to seize control of my body. I sensed it, but I couldn't change it. It is an integral part of my consciousness. I resisted its temptations because I wanted to save Amenoma Yuya. But I do not know whether you yourself have any intention of trying to fight it. I feel a great sense of regret for you. Since you embarked on a journey bound for a destination you were destined never to reach. The moment you embarked on this journey, you lost the only person who could have ever unleashed your true potential. And yet there was no way for you to turn your back on his ambition. You have known this for a long time. It is the true source of your despair. He gave me everything. My life, my form, my consciousness, and purpose. How could I possibly deny him his wish? I said to him, Do not worry. From here on, I shall forge your legacy. Mm. How could I go back on my word? <sighs> Okay, I feel some some I pity. Our bet is now settled. But, uh, but the end of the I day. have nothing further to say. Where are you going, Kazuha? He now has neither the ability nor the motivation to cause further harm. Let's give him some time to reflect on things. When I touched the hilt for the first time, it's as if I was transported to a strange dimension. It was somewhere I've never been. A bladesmith lay quietly on the bed, his frail face barely visible under the moonlight. His breaths were weak, and his life near its end. 
A newly forged blade lay by his side, listening attentively to his final words. Wow. That was the blade's memory, wasn't it? Indeed. While in exile in Snezhnaya, the bladesmith eventually learned the truth behind everything that had happened. The Ishin art had been dealt a devastating blow by the desertion of its best smiths. He spent the rest of his life in the forge, not to vent his frustration and hatred, but to atone for his actions. He felt intense regret at being tricked by the Fatui, but he could never again return to his homeland. His sole wish was to one day return his single proudest creation back to the land of his birth. So he instructed this sentient blade to find a way back to Inazuma, no matter how long or how hard the journey. But he never wished to rival the gods. All he wanted to show was that they once shone brilliantly as blade and smith, that they were still worthy of being trusted. So that's the true story. But after that, the blacksmith's intentions were worked by the Tatari Gami, slowly turning his proud creation into the cursed blade of today. Right. I believe the bladesmith might never have known that the power he worked with was that of the Tatari Gami. The hatred within that power is what sent the blade down its ill fated path. This blade has committed unforgivable atrocities, but only because it lost its original master. No one was there to correct its errors when it was losing its way. <sighs> Shame it's too late now. Yes, it is too late. Time would not wait or stop because of his determination. While the world moved on, his ambition remained stubbornly stuck at that fleeting moment at the dawn of his journey. He seems to have calmed down, though. Let's go and check in. When I look back at the past, I can remember the day of my forging like it was just yesterday. I once told him that I would pay any price to fulfill his wishes. Such was the debt I owed to him for giving me the gift of consciousness. But darkness and slaughter numb the mind. Over time, I lost sight of the difference between gratitude and grudge. Not only did I fail to fulfill his ambition, I also defiled it. You are finally seeing reality clearly. Since we agreed to the terms of the bet, I will honor the agreement and release Amenoma Yuya. But I still cannot bring myself to forsake his ambition. <coughs> it is the entire purpose for my existence. So, may I ask you to help me fulfill the ambitions of myself and my creator? has to be done in this order. At least hear what I have to say. And if you don't agree, I will still release Amenoma Yuya as promised. My physical form, as well as the knowledge I possess, should still be of some value to you. His attitude has grown a lot milder. What do you think, Kazuha? Should we give him a chance? Let's hear it. Thank you all. When I was first forged, my maker was already terminally ill. He told me that he had wanted me to have the grandest opening battle. Alas, after that, he never rose from his sickbed again. Nor have I ever had the chance to prove myself in battle sense. My fights were devoid of any noble meaning. They were merely the next step in my never-ending journey. The next in a long line of transgressions. You are a fine warrior. I would like to request your hand in battle and experience a true duel between samurai. Oh, 
And who would be the opponent? I will release Amenoma Yuya and restore his consciousness. Perhaps after that, you can convince him to commit to a fight with you. He must have plenty of reasons to both hate me and desire a good fight. Understood. Then let's start by waking him up and seeing if he has the stamina and will to fight. Hmm. I see. He used my body to inflict harm on others. I utterly despise him and his actions. But since he stayed true to your agreement by releasing me, he must still have some remaining semblance of honor. If a duel can help to set this state of affairs in order, I am willing to put myself forward. I do not wish to be a mere victim in this story. There's no need to worry. We'll vouch for your innocence to the Tenryo Commission. Thanks for your help. Who knows how this would have ended without your intervention. All right, then let's move on. More Ronin could appear at any moment. We can't stay here. In any case, for a final duel, I think we should aim for a greater sense of ceremony. Finally, all right. I felt a little uninvested in this one, but it's like... Reminds Paimon a bit of the Crux Clash. That was a much more relaxed yep, occasion. We still can't let our guard down. Even now, Paimon has a sneaking suspicion <laughs> that Blade hasn't told us everything. Well. Still, even if he's way past the point of redemption, it's hard not to feel a teensy bit sorry for him. Yeah, don't feel bad about feeling ready? a little bad. It's okay to feel a little sympathy or pity. Okay. All right then. Okay, Successor of Ishin Art, Kaidahara Kazuha. Successor of Amenoma Art. Art, Amenome Yuya. Honored to cross blades with you. It is my honor also. Okay, so do we actually have to use Kazuha for this? That's all right. And help her with your water, thank you. <laughs> Into the wind. It's fine. One with nature. Into the wind. As one with wind and cloud. The wind knows me. One with nature. Time to go. Thank you for the experience. Although he appears battered and broken. In your hands, it seems he's regained a glimmer of brilliance. His sense of savage cruelty has completely faded away. But that same sense of determination mm. remains strong. You also fought well. I'm sure he relished the experience. There are a few things that I shall leave him to tell you himself. I must apologize to you for all that has transpired. You need not seek my forgiveness. Nor do I have the right to forgive you on your victim's behalf. Mm -hmm. It is too late for all of that. I do not wish for forgiveness. I only hope that you will see my transgressions as mine alone and not let them stain the legacy of Ishin art. 
I strayed far from the straight and narrow path, but the Ishin art still has a worthy successor in Kaede Hara Kazuha. I beseech you, please understand this. Mm. Yes. I too trust Mr. Kaede Hara to do the right thing. Thank you, successor of Amenoma art. This blade has also told me that he has another wish. He would like to visit the Amenoma Smithy. Maybe we can go back there together. What does he want to go there for? I am not sure, but I think that all this is about to come to an end. Okay. Oh, yeah, these guys. Time to lose. Oh, it's Yuya. You have returned. I am sorry to have troubled you. It's all thanks to them that I was able to return safely. A prized Ishin blade. Turned weapon that controls the human mind. <sighs> Considering their forging philosophy, this was indeed within the realm of possibility. This is a great pity. But I have some good news as well. Ryuji from the Bantan Sango Detective Agency tells me that they've found the missing Mr. Nagato. Really? Is he okay? Yes. Badly wounded, but he will live. And now that Yuya is back, it seems like the final ending to this story is a happy one after all. Mm. I think I know what you want to do. What's wrong, Kazuma? You forged into a new is blade? Is the blade whispering in your ear again? Yes. He said he wants to take control of me for a brief moment. Okay. What? No way! Hasn't it learned its lesson? He tells me that he's thought of another way to fulfill his maker's wish. And he assures me that he won't use my body for anything nefarious. Well, I have decided should... to let him do it. Which is to be reforged. Yeah. But he... oh. Guess there's nothing we can say to change your mind, huh? I trust his Thank judgment. You. I will explain my reasons later. <clears throat> okay. I am ready. Let us begin. Please stay true to your promise. Oh, is this the cutscene now? Here we go. Hmm. My power is almost spent. Without him, my eventual demise is inevitable. But if I abandon the future to give everything I have in this moment, my physical form can be forged anew. Everything? You mean... Like his yes. consciousness? The cost is my entire consciousness. <laughs> Fine, he's fine. But you're gonna ask him to forge right now. Yeah. You were right. There's nothing that I can accomplish now. But there's still a chance for Ishin art. Once remade, I will be a valuable resource for your studies. Ishin lives on, and its finest hour is yet to come. Even if I am not the one to prove its might to the Shogun, as long as it is an Ishin blade, crafted by Kaedehara hands, it will still fulfill his final wish. Thank you, son of the Kaedehara clan. Over the years, my real name has been forgotten by all. I am ashamed to utter it. Strong in my mind. Kago Tsurube Ishin. This name is now yours to keep. Rest in peace. So that's why he said it had to be done in that order. 
His consciousness will disappear forever after fulfilling the bladesmith's wish. Kagotsurube Ishin. It was the first time I ever heard his name. It seems like deep down he disapproved <clears throat> of his own actions and thus chose to bury this name deep within his heart. Only in the final moments, before his consciousness faded, was he willing to entrust it to another. Seems like he really, really wanted to fulfill his maker's wish. The same fervent ambition that gave him the motivation to keep going forward also fueled the stubborn determination that blinded him to the path ahead. Speaking for myself, I'd rather see him recognize and atone for his mistakes than see him punished for them. Mm. I understand. Perhaps this is a flaw in my personality. I've always been captivated by grand aspirations. Mm. Hearing his wish to rival the divine light touched something inside of me. Just as the sight of those who fought to repeal the vision hunt decree did. Your quest to face the gods and trace your sibling inspires me in the same way. After everything I've seen, perhaps these pursuits fascinate me a little more than they should. Oh, Kazuha! I will continue to support you from this point on. Know that you will have my assistance whenever you need it. Wait! Shouldn't we also go update Kujo Kamaji? Oh, you're right. We need to tell him about the findings of our investigation. And it's also time to give him a response to the offer he made me. You've returned. I hear that the issue has been resolved. Uh, though this was a treacherous investigation indeed, we're most fortunate that no lives were lost. The Tenryo Commission has already attended to the danger at the warehouse. The investigation into Amanoma Yuya should conclude soon. I do not believe he will be charged with any crime. Wow, you sure kept your ear to the ground. Then we needn't recount all the details again. Now, as to your earlier offer, I wish to give you my answer. Please, take a look at this blade. What's this? Kagotsurube Ishii. A weapon crafted using a long-lost blade forging art of the Kaidahara clan. By means of a series of fortuitous events, I was able to recover and restore him. I also promised him that I will continue to study and pass on the secrets of Ishin art. And so, it looks like I will likely continue with my journey across the nations, learning more about this blade as I go. Uh, I see. I understand. The Kaidahara clan has always been a family of bladesmiths, so it is only proper for me to continue on this path. Were I to accept your goodwill, I may find myself embroiled in conflicts between mm -hmm. the Shogunate and Sangonomiya. Yep. That would not suit me. Uh, you misunderstand. That was most certainly not our intent. I am aware, but I still desire to continue walking my own path. Very well. I can understand. Then let's pretend this offer was never raised. <laughs> However, if you should ever change your mind or find yourself in need of the Shogunate's assistance, please do not hesitate to inform me. Great. Thank you for your generosity. Where will you travel to next, Kazuha? Hmm. I'll probably take to the seas with Captain Beto again for now. I'm jealous. As for my next destination, let's see where the wind takes me. I think we will meet in Simro, perhaps, or Fontaine, or something like that. Okay, and that's the end of that. All right, so yeah, we're officially done with Mr. Nagato's survival is the one silver lining in this whole catastrophe. Yep. We will continue to monitor his condition and hope he recovers soon.
Okay, well that's the end of that story. So now we have no more story quests to do for the time being. Because until... Oh, and we get... Oh, we do get the weapon! Oh, that's cool. Free weapon. Okay, if only I had Kazuha, then this would work out. But then what's the refinement material for it, I wonder? Never mind, I'll look later. Anyway, so for the rest of the stream, I think it's just going to be tower stuff. Or we could do world quests. I mean, abyss things, that's what I meant. But first, I still want to get the things for Ayaka, just to ascend her to level 90. So we're going to fight the mechanical array one more time. Or two more times, we can squeeze in the time between that. And then we will have to... Let's side check it again. It resets next eight hours. So we will try to do the last few things. Order guide you. Stabilize. Witness the power of Kuwa. No, my sword. Things are about to get dicey. Quietly now. And then we'll have 20 and then we can level. So, but during that time, I think also, yeah, we need to click this. Also, I'm gonna hold off on, you know, bounties and requests because when the battle pass resets, I'll want to just get that out. So, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be this week, if not next week. So, first, let's collect our stuff. We need to look up a more efficient guy to, you know, get max out the bounty i mean um what's it called yeah this the realm currency there's a faster way to do that but anyway since we're focusing on ayaka and get her to 90 then we need to use that for this so i need apparently 172 of these based on my my calculator thing that i looked at if you ever okay, we need that for another time Again, I'm just going in this order because I want some sense of direction when it comes to working on characters. So the direction was, hey, work on a main DPS for your team. Then, yeah, get them to 90 at least. And then from there you can focus on the other characters. So Hu Tao's 90, Child's 90. We just needed, um, just for this new team, I want to try Ayaka at 90. But it's just, just currently with how the final, the last boss in... For the um, oh, I have all these. The problem for it is just the last boss for the freaking abyss is that the new guy, the new guy that can only be affected by electro and some electro catalyst user. So he, because he screwed up by like using the Hu Tao team against him, I screwed myself kind of with the out of like some stars or whatever because it took too long. But again, we'll try again today. Let's see how well we go. Okay, I think we'll just do 11, then go back to Perpetual Array, and just to get the last bit to get Ayaka to level. To ascend Ayaka, at least. But for now, let's actually try her on floor, floor 11 and see how well we do. As she is now. She's pretty strong, if you ask me. Let's just see what we can do with it. All characters in the game have electric. So these chambers are... Okay, that... That's why, yeah, we can use. We use the anim the team with Sucrose, and Sucrose is in that team. And this is where we struggle. That's all. So we can manage. We can. Manage. All right, let's try. So this team is Ayaka, Sucrose. Because now we have Mona, and oh yeah, wait, but Mona's artifacts are kind of trash. Let me check something real quick. Talents are up to code, just her artifacts need help. Just enhance these for whatever.
what are sucrose's all about? That 12 too, fine, we'll keep it at 12. If I managed with her just fine at 12, then yeah, I gave her like one of girls' things I was working on last time. Get it to 12 for all of them, Let's see what we can do from there. I guess we have enough, because I've done nothing but farm bosses and stuff, so we have plenty of artifacts to get this. it and then yeah okay we'll leave her there for now i'm not super like desperate to get moon mona super strong right now she's just playing as kind of the support role <coughs> with this team all right let's go okay it goes ayaka sucrose mona and diana and the other one is the classic Wu Tao, yalan xingxiu and jungle let's get it done it resets in 8 hours, I need these primo gems because my heat is not far away and I don't have enough. Look at you, Foo Town! Enhanced animal module 75, stand clear. Absorption test, animal test 6308. <laughs> Written in the stars. <sighs> Take flight. Kamisato art. Shake it after! Hey, now that you're drink! Absorption test! Animal test 6308! World Mark 2! Well, we're getting there. Your... Ah, game's up. Oh, 
silver. The gold is silver. Okay, this is why I find this one. These guys are knowing I'm in order guide you. Stabilize. No, my sword. Let me give you a break. Because I swear it requires me having a good electric team or something. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Easy, 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 easy. Okay, next show. Okay, now this is where I'm gonna be a little str struggle a bit, I think. That's oh, close to the Let's go, let's go, look at you! Absorption test! Animal test 6308! Absorption test! 
Heal up and then I can't kill Yeah, okay, yeah, so I'm just gonna have to sell for two stars on this one, I can't get off. Just a problem to have okay. for this one. Algorithmic semi and transient matrix overseer network. This guy is a slight issue. Just thinking about how to best handle this. gonna be such a pain because of the, no I don't have a good electro like catalyst team to go against them. I have to look up who someone there's someone I know who does videos on that. Okay here we go. Take 
fight. Think you can bully me? Look at you, Foo Tail. Written in the stars. Absorption test. Whirling snow. Animal test 6308. Take flight. Oh, I think so hard to prove this one. He's gonna reset now, and now we have this problem. Fifty seconds send this. This is order. And against these guys, this is not gonna go. Well. Let me read you. 
you a burst. Huh? Here comes the catch. Busted. Or is it going to be a pain? I just know it. Oh, right, yes, it doesn't transform to the computer store. Right, that's bad. Oh, Think you can bully me? Shake it and stir! <laughs> animal test 6308. Stand clear. Absorption test. Enhanced animal module 70. Decided by destiny. <laughs> Your drink. Yeah. Take flight. Sucker swirl. Whirling snow. Look at you, Boo Gal. Fate is upon you. No way I can beat him in less than 15 seconds. That ain't happening. At least beat him in this guy and at least, at least before the next two minutes, I guess. Stabilize! No, my sword! Yeah. Rain cutter! Quietly now. Things are about to get dicey. Let me leave you a bird. 
Here comes the catch. Rain outlines your face. Could witness the power of gold. Gotcha. I miss that so stars there so that's three in total so now I, I don't know if we could get three on the last four and I don't see that happening I just wait let me just end this Are you going? Yeah. Absorption test. Ha! Written in the stars. Stay on our special. Take flight. so bad, especially if I have a team that's good at like grouping them up for this kind of AOE damage, I guess. That rel that was relatively easier compared to what what's gonna happen here. It's because I don't have a good electro whatever catalyst team that I can't beat this guy efficiently. Gather. Let me weave you a first. Here comes the catch. Witness the power of Kuwa, huh? 
Any stars whatsoever at this point. In the past, I could never dream that we get into this point. Solidify. Rain outlines your fate. Witness the power. Here comes the catch. And you're done. All right. Let's see how that. Got one star. I'll take whatever. It's better than not beating the floor at all. Challenge ended. You have reached it. May you may yet shake the stars near this. All right, not bad. Okay, we'll just to go fight a array one last time, and then we can we'll end up the stream. Because going forward, and yes, I expired. Yes, I finished it already, so we're good there. Do that. Same. How many stars did we get? Hopefully, I mean, how many primo gems did we get? Like at least 150. Because that's it. Oops, so there's enough. So there was another 150 I could have gotten, but oh well. Okay, so that puts us at about yeah, 320, whatever, and by the month's resetting tomorrow, so yeah, we're good there. Alright, let's go fight a ray one more time, and yeah, just use up the last of the resin on. on like, you know, talent stuff, ta um, XP stuff for Ayaka. I still definitely want to use that team again. Just I just want to make it stronger. This is order. Gather. Ring cutter. Quietly now. Game up. Fun silver. to that which has given me the strength to hold on the weight of letting go is ever foreboding my apologies it should be a happy occasion and yet it is such a sad phrase that comes to mind our time together has been so pleasant that I'm fearful of losing what I've gained I'm sorry I must compose myself I need specifically 172, so we're gonna hold off on leveling this for a bit. In terms of talents, okay, yes, yes, I got that, yep. Usages? Nope, nope, it's the thing in the name. It's the, you suggest maxing the alt, sorry, the elemental burst, and then 
Let's see, I'm gonna need a bunch of these on Tuesday or Friday. A bunch of those. I'll work out the math. I'll just look at the calculator again because if I want to get it to 19 max her out, I'm maybe not triple crown her because I haven't triple I haven't triple crown Hu Tao, so I don't know. We'll consider it. But for now, let's just focus on getting um, XP stuff. So I'm gonna go here and just craft craft the condensed resin and just use two of those today, just to get us there a bit faster. Okay, going forward, I may stream Genshin a bit longer than usual, but we'll see. Just not today. Maybe on Wednesday when we stream more. We'll stream more Genshin. Even though I said last week I wanted to play Terraria again. Okay, I'll work out the time. Okay, and who knows, maybe if you guys get, if I get to 50 followers, maybe I'll do a little, oh, Genshin all day type stream, or even a little, any, another game. Huh? So we'll see. Yeah. Order guide you. Stabilize. Rain cutter. Rain outlines your fate. Game's up. Oh, no, maybe I'll save, I'll save that for Nehi, uh, if I get it. <laughs> Anyway, we're good. Wait, what? Didn't, didn't I have two? Or I used one already? Oh, boo. Why'd I do another one then? I thought I had two in my inventory, but I guess it was just the one. Alright, well, sorry. I wasted my time doing that. It was a nice farm, but I'm not gonna use up my saved up resin right now. I'll use it for another occasion. Or when it's closer to expiry. I don't like doing it. Okay, you know what? Never mind. Let's. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just use it now. I hate to go this. Okay. And now. Go back, condense it again, and then we'll end the stream. Okay, as I was saying about streaming for longer, just because I'm participating in the partner program with Hoyaverse, so rewards are, yeah, if you stream for three hours consecutively during the week, or like in one instance, you'll get more, but anyway. Okay, we should be it. Alright. Got it. Busted. Hmm. I was
we're good. Okay, so... How much do we have again? Nope, wrong button. We have about... 99. Alright, a bit more in the for the next few days should be fine. Okay, this resets... Yeah, tomorrow, so... Hmm, I will make the call. If, yeah, Nick, if the banner is tomorrow, then maybe I'll just stream Genshin instead of tomorrow Overwatch. Or is there more? I'll decide when the time comes. Anyway, thanks for joining, guys. Thanks for yeah, tuning in for the Spiral Abyss. We got through Kaza's story quest. Just finally get that out of the way. So tomorrow, as I just said, depending if I feel like more Genshin instead of Overwatch, we'll just go do that because then the Hito will drop and we can roll for on stream. But I think it also will depend on like the timing, because then maybe I could save it for the day after, actually. Now that I think about it. Because when they go through the whole server maintenance, it takes a while for it to get back online, and by the time it gets back online, it will be whatever. I'll decide when the time comes. And if we do get Nahida on the banner really early, then yeah, we'll dedicate more stream time to just, you know, building her. So we'll see. But that's about it, guys. I've been Nara the Fallen Angel, and I will see you all tomorrow. All being well. Alright, later.